Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can add text, customise it, and also how you can turn this text into 3D text which will interact with your lights and your 3D cameras inside of HitFilm Express. The majority of this tutorial will work completely inside of HitFilm Express with no add-ons, but in order to get the extrusion for the 3D text you will need to buy the 3D Generate add-on pack which will contain bevel, extrude, bend and rotate, which are really powerful tools, and I have more tutorials using them in the top corner. Let's get on with this tutorial. The first thing I'm going to be showing you how to do is create text inside of HitFilm Express. I'm going to be doing this inside of a composite shot, however you can create text inside of the editor using the text tool located here. However, I'm going to go up to the new button and create a new composite shot. I'm then going to name this composite shot text example and I'm going to leave it at 1920 by 1080 p and I'm also going to leave it at 30 seconds. You can change that to whatever you want it to be, it's just I'm using this as an example. Then I'm just going to press OK and this will set up a new composite shot. There are a number of ways that you can create text inside of HitFilm. The first being the new layer button. If you click on the new layer button and select new text layer, you will see that it creates a new text layer in the center of the screen, and it will automatically change your tool over to the text tool, so that then when you type, you're typing text. I'm just going to enter in something different, and now if you want to change the scale of this text, or the size of this text, then you can go over to the text tab. When you're in the text tab, you will see that there is a section called character and another that is called paragraph. The character settings will change the settings for each individual character, whereas the paragraph options are more how you can set it up if you have multiple lines of text. The first option you will see inside of the character tab is the font. When you press on this drop down tab, you will see that you've got all of the fonts installed on your computer. If you hover over the text, you will see that there is a sample text shown in the box next to it. This can be quite useful if you're just trying to find a font that will do for the project you're working on. The option underneath the font is the actual character size. Next to these options you have the options for like the text setup, so you can have regular which is kind of your normal font. Then you have like italic, bold, and bold italic, or whatever other options that particular font has. Next to this, you can also see a white box with a color picker next to it. This is the color of the text. So if you click on this box, it will then bring up a color screen where you can then just choose a color and then it will apply it. You can also use the color picker to select a color. Underneath those first load of settings, we have the second set. This is the outline, and if you start dragging up the outline, you can see that a red outline is going to be created on these letters. The colour of this outline can be changed using a very similar setup to the one earlier on. You can select it and select colour. You also have these options underneath the amount of outline. You have stroke over fill or fill over stroke, and they will just kind of change the setup of the outline. And these are some more in-depth settings which will allow you to change the line spacing. It will also allow you to change the height of the characters. And you can also push letters up and down. You can also change the spacing of the letters by using this option here. And you can also change the width of the letters by using the setting below it. You also have some default settings that you can use across here where you can make the lowercase letters capitalized, you can make all of the letters capitalized, you can make all of the letters lowercase, then you can set the first letter to being capitalized and the others do not. You also have underlining and you also have crossing out. You can also set things to be the power of, or to be the 
the, the one that's below the text, I forgot the name of that. And then if you want to undo some of these settings, then what you can do is just click on it, and that will make it go back to being white. So for the, to demonstrate the paragraph tools, I am just going to write in some more lines. Then you have your alignment options. These will go off of the anchor point of the layer. So if you have it set to being centered, then it will center the anchor point in the middle of the text layer. But if you set it to be left alignment, then it will set the left side of this text layer on the anchor point. And then if you set it to be right alignment, then it will do the same, but on the other side. Feel free to play around with any of these settings to kind of get the look that you want and learn a bit more about text customization inside of HitFilm. This now brings us on to the second point in our tutorial, how you can make 3D text inside of HitFilm. This first part will be completely free to do inside of HitFilm Express, and that is creating the text in 3D space. To do this, all you have to do is click on this layer dimensions button, and then select 3D plane. This will now set this text to being in 3D, so you can move it along on Z space and rotate it on the Y axis. When you, when you turn this layer 3D, it will ask if you want to add a new 3D camera. You want to press yes, because otherwise it won't actually be in 3D, because you can't see it unless there's a camera there. Okay, so now once you've got this 3D text, you can go into the controls tab and you can do all sorts of awesome rotations to get the look that you're going for. However, you might notice that there are no options for adding extrusion to this. So say if you wanted to have the text that looks 3D. So as you can see, when we change the camera view, you can see that there is no actual 3D depth to this text. But if you want to add this, you will need the 3D generate pack, which will contain all of the geometries. So in order to add the 3D depth to this text layer, you can go to the controls on the text layer, then go over to geometry then press on the green plus. This will then bring up a new pop-up window, which has a drop-down for geometry. This has all of the geometry. Okay, so these are add-on packs, so you will need to purchase the add-on pack for this if you want to export this out, but you can still have a play around with these effects, even if you don't have the add-on pack installed, because I don't. What I'm going to do is just add this extrusion, and as you can see, that has immediately taken effect. And also, as I don't own this add-on pack, it has a watermark placed in the bottom corner, but then if I try and export, it will be placed across the middle. You can change the extrusion settings by opening up the extrusion effect geometry, and then you can change the depth of the extrusion, and you can make it wider or thinner. This face option will allow you to change it from extruding front and back to back, and to front. This will use the base text layer as a reference and then build onto either side. If you select it to build onto the front and back it will be double the width and if you set it to back then it will extrude out the back. And then if you set it to front it will extrude out the front. There are other geometry settings that you can use by pressing on this green plus and have a bit of a play around. You can use the bend settings to bend the text around. There is also a bevel option which you can use. I'm just going to re-alter the camera angle and also create a 3D light by going to new layer, then adding a light. As you can see, this has added some 3D like bevel to the edges, which you can then go into the settings and then change. You also have a rotate geometry which will rotate each each character of the text. I made a tutorial on how you can use this to create some titles inspired by the Star Wars trailers that you can find in the top corner. Even without any of these add-ons, your 3D text will still interact with lights and cameras. That can be super useful for if you're just trying to create a really awesome text effect for some form of like motion graphic. Something that can be super useful is having some form of title grid or safety grid, allowing you to know where the centre of the screen is, where one side of the screen is, and where the other, kind of get a feel for the proportions of the screen. Unlike inside of After Effects, there is no toggle button to activate this grid. However, there is a preset 
that is a title safe grid. If you go into the presets folder and then into the 2D effects folder, you will see that there are a whole ton of title safe guides as presets. They have them in all sorts of different shapes for all sorts of different footage types. In order to use this, I create a new grade layer, which is invisible, and then I drag and drop on the guide. This will then layer the guide over the top of the screen, then to deactivate it, I can just turn off and on this grade layer. Then you can use this to kind of line up all of your text how you want to use it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, then please leave a like and subscribe uh, for more videos. And if you want to be notified when I next upload, then hit that bell icon, and it will do that. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.